for Floyd Mayweather Jr. against Jose Luis Castillo. And you'll see that Mayweather has a three-year age advantage at 25. They're equal in height. Two-inch reach advantage for Floyd. They both weighed in within a pound of the 135-pound limit. But look at this. In his very first appearance at this weight level, Mayweather, who had difficulty making 130, uh, enters the ring unofficially at a weight of 138 and a half. Castillo, who weighed in for his last fight at 150, enters the ring after having weighed in at 134 and a half at 147 and a half with a nine pound weight advantage unofficially over Mayweather entering the ring. A word on the scoring from unofficial ringside scorer Harold Letterman. The Jose Luis Castillo Floyd Mayweather fight is scheduled for 12 rounds using the unified rules of the Association of Boxing Commissions. There is no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. In case a cut is caused by an accidental headbutt, we go to the scorecards after four rounds have been completed, and you cannot be saved by the bell in any round, including the 12th to final round. Jim. All right, having held a title for a few years now, Floyd Mayweather is accustomed to entering the ring second. Tonight, as the challenger for Castillo's title, he reverses that pattern and enters the ring first. There are only a few thousand people here to see a fighter regarded as one of the best in the world, moving up in weight to fight the biggest, strongest fighter he's ever fought. He blames this on his promoter, Bob Arum. Shooting with Aram again. His father says if he's got a problem with the promoter or the promoter, he really ought to look in the mirror for some of his behavior outside of the ring. Aram says all of this dates back a while to when he was fighting at the same time as Britney Spears was performing in this very same room, and they had a huge sign outside. Uh, that sign cost $150,000. And they Floyd wanted, wanted one of those, Floyd right? Floyd wanted one of those, and Barbara didn't see any profit in it, but she had already sold out the arena a few times. Well, maybe Floyd should pierce his navel and wear hip hugger jeans. Jose Luis Castillo, who once fought as a featherweight and has been more effective as a lightweight. He won the title in a big upset over Stevie Johnston and then kept it in their second fight. He comes from the richest of boxing traditions, the tradition of Mexican fighters. His own father fought over a hundred professional fights. His brother is a professional fighter. He was a sparring partner for the great Chavez for five years. He knows his way around the ring. So George, are you suggesting, very quickly, are you saying there's merit in Mayweather's argument about Aram that he hasn't done enough? It's not about Aram, it's about promoters in general. You take on the opportunity to promote a guy, it's up to you to make his name a household name, not the fighter at all. He's trusting you with that. All right. To see if Floyd Mayweather can take another step toward becoming a household name, let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, from the MGM Grand, the city of entertainment here in Las Vegas, Nevada, Mr. Bob Arum and his top rank incorporated is proud to present Clash of Champions. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC lightweight Championship of the World! Brought to you in association with the King of Beers, Budweiser, and sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission Chairman Dr. Luther Mack and the World Boxing Council President Jose Suleiman. The three judges assigned to ringside scoring this bout on the 10-point system are from Bangkok, Thailand, Anik Hong Tong Kam, from North Ants, England, John Keane, and from Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Jerry Roth. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, also from Las Vegas, Victor Draculich. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the fans in attendance here at the MGM Grand of Las Vegas and the millions watching around the world. Uh, let's get ready to rumble!
Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing yellow and white, and officially weighing in at 134 pounds. His professional record is a perfect one, consisting of 27 bouts, 27 victories, including 20 knockouts and a world title, along with recognition as pound for pound, one of the very best fighters in the world today. From Grand Rapids, Michigan, tonight the challenger, He's the reigning super featherweight world champion, pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white with red and green. And his official weight, 134 and one half pounds. His professional record, in 50 bouts he has posted 45 victories against four defeats with one draw. His explosive power has been displayed many times as 41 of his victories have come by knockout. Originally from Emale Sonora, now living and fighting out of Mexicali, Baja California, Mexico, presenting the reigning and defending WBC lightweight champion of the world, Jose Luis Temible Castillo. Chief seconds only, Chief seconds only. Chief seconds only. All right, gentlemen, this is the WBC lightweight title. You received your instructions in dressing room. Again, I want to caution you. Any punches below this point are going to be deemed low. Any punches below this point are going to be deemed low. With that, are there any questions? Any questions, Chief seconds? All right, remember, obey my commands, protect yourselves at all times. Keep them punches up. We'll be watching it. Keep them up. Right. Right. Touch them up. Collect them up here. Inside the ropes, Floyd Mayweather Jr. is brilliant. He has been especially dominant in his big fights against Gennaro Hernandez, Diego Corrales, and others. The only question here tonight is whether that nine-pound advantage coming into the oh. ring that Castillo has will be meaningful. You make a great point about Mayweather's big fights. Dominated Gennaro Hernandez en route to an eighth round TKO. Knocked out Angel Manfredi in the second round. And completely dominated Corrales in a fight that many predicted he would lose, knocking him down six times en route to the TKO victory. The good thing about Mayweather, he's been a gym rat all his life. He's had to get in and box with middleweights, light heavyweights, and the whole deal. So he fights better at a disadvantage. You think his quickness is really so so much of an advantage that the nine pounds doesn't mean that much? No, I don't know about his quickness, but the nine pounds doesn't mean anything. This guy's been around the gym a long time, and his dad's family's put him in the ring with any fighter. But if he can find some reason to just go into himself and rally, he can fight. Sometimes the weight advantage could be just that. Here in the first minute of the fight, Mayweather establishes his superiority in hand speed. No surprise there. Blindingly fast combinations when he gets going. Castillo will hope to find a way to get inside and land something big. Probably an uppercut against Floyd. There you have Floyd diving in with those leaping hooks. These are, this is the way you hurt your hand. You got to stay right with the basics if you want to protect your hand. The crowd seem to be equally divided. One on one side and the other. And you hear a chanting of USA. As American fans here take up the chant to support Mayweather against Mexican fans who are chanting for Castillo. It was ever thus. My guys against your guys. You see how Castillo likes to come down and then up with his hard punches. One thing about all that, there's only two guys in the ring. 
only one can win is one of them. Mayweather just can't seem to figure out he's supposed to have a disadvantage, but he's having to be the aggressor. Does not like being the aggressor, Mayweather. Uh, you wonder why he has taken this tack. Maybe he just wants to keep Castillo on his heels so that he just doesn't come at him in waves. Castillo is not interested in being uh, uh, the aggressor at this point. Takes one step forward and stays right there. Perhaps hoping to counter Mayweather with an uppercut That's as he comes in. Exactly. Looking to counter himself. Boy, but as you pointed out in the last fight, George, this idea of countering the counterpuncher can be a fool's paradise. No, don't do that. Some you blood, just jump on it. Some blood coming out of Castillo's nose. From a left hand by Mayweather. And another one by Floyd to punctuate the first round. As we go to the corner of Jose Luis Castillo, where they speak Spanish, our interpreter again, Ray Torres. He's doing the same thing that we thought he would. You don't have to go over him. He, that's all he wants to do, just play around. You understand? Yeah. yeah, just with the left hand, you know. Oh, he's not doing too much. So just box him nicely. We're going to work him early. It's down the stretch, you're going to get him anyway. Don't worry about it. This is fight smart. You feel okay? Yeah, I'm nice, okay. Besides, most... Yeah, feel good. You know, he's bleeding already. Yeah. Don't so, worry about that. Fuck no, about no, him. No, he's going to no, stop no. him anyway. Yeah, then, don't no, worry. Okay. Keep fighting. Keep, keep him in front of you. That's all you got to do. He can't out think you know what. Seconds out. Okay? All right. Mayweather made a comment in the corner about his left shoulder. He's... We'll see if it is something wrong with it. He seems to be rotating it, try to keeping it, to keep it loose. Massage my left shoulder, he said. <laughs> That's not a good sign. Jose Luis Castillo threw only 27 punches in the first round and landed only three. So even though Floyd Mayweather wasn't terribly active, throwing only 39 punches, he had the, the edge and there he knocks Castillo down, but Vic Draculic rules it a slip because Mayweather's foot was on Castillo's foot. I couldn't tell exactly what happened there. The appearance was that Castillo, in jumping back, tripped over his feet. whether Mayweather thinks he has Castillo hurt. And now a butt. And Floyd Mayweather catches it just above the left eye. And there may be blood. He's looking for blood. There doesn't seem to be any quite yet. Slight cut, it'll be all right. Ready? Slight cut, it'll be all right, says Draculic. You heard it there. I guess it's important that he said it was a cut. And it was a butt. That's how you change things with a boxer. Get out there and do something that they haven't practiced doing. You know, yesterday we spent 30 minutes with Floyd Mayweather and he barely mentioned Jose Luis Castillo, preferring to spend most of the time talking about money, fame, promotion, exposure, and subjects like that. The last fighter who came into a fighter meeting and talked that way was Shane Mosley before his fight with Vernon Forrest in New York. And in the second round of that fight, Mosley was cut over the eye when he was butted by Forrest. So we have a couple of strange coincidences already, which may or may not mean anything. Mayweather started switch hitting. He turned from southpaw, then again. When you start doing those things, you're setting yourself up for a butt. Castillo wanted to catch Mayweather with something coming up from underneath. Just thought it might be an uppercut instead of a butt. You get a guy complaining about a cut or a butt, that's when you're supposed to jump on him. You're not supposed to wait around and let him get himself together. Castillo him hasn't jumped on anybody yet. He hasn't allowed the guy to get himself together. Perfect counter right hand by Mayweather as Castillo came in. Mayweather 
Mayweather didn't go ahead. Still was able to go on top of Mayweather's jab this time. That's what you want to do if a guy's jabbing you. Throw the right hand right on top. Right. Right. Castillo's aggression mounting just slightly in round two. But two interesting incidents there. Castillo went down. It wasn't ruled a knockdown. Mayweather caught a butt above his left eye. Keep him in front of the jab. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, Come on, move. It's been there, but scratch, but still. Okay, Maybe look at that eye just for a second. No, you look at it. Let's scratch. Okay, okay, okay. Slow it. Listen, slow it. Wait. Keep him in front of the jab. <laughs> so keep pouring out there. That's bottom. <laughs> Keep pouring out the chain up on okay. me. Massage is on. Very much. Here is the slip. Um, it seems to confirm my original impression. There was the headbutt. The slip seemed to uh, confirm okay, the impression that Castillo tripped over his own legs as he was uh, moving away. Mayweather's corner told him to keep that jab working. That's what you got to do. When you don't know what else to do, keep jabbing. And find yourself in the middle of the ring. Don't stay away from the ropes. Mostly jabs landed so far. Only 14 power shots landed by the both fighters combined, or the two fighters combined in the first two rounds. And you heard Roger Mayweather say, keep him in front of the jab. Mayweather jabbing to the body now. Which is brave considering he just got butted. When you jab, you got to stick it, put your head down, and that's when those guys can really get you. Okay, keep it clean. First three-punch combination Castillo has attempted. Mayweather mostly one punch at a time so far. Back to the body with the jab, which is good. This fight is going to go beyond seven rounds. Those body punches are really going to count for something. Take the power away from your stronger opponent. Yeah, but knowing Floyd, he's not really trying to punish the guy to the body, George. He's trying to set something else up. No, but when you go to the body, whether you want to punish them or not, it, it affects it. It has great effect on it. That's why the corner will tell you to go to the body, jab him to the body. I say break, listen. Because the fighter, do, fighters don't like it. Break! Floyd Patterson, if he jabbed you to the body a couple of times, you can believe he was getting ready to throw that leaping left hook. On the rare occasions when Roy Jones uses the jab, it's more often to the body than to the head. There's Mayweather upstairs with the jab. Pop, pop. Castillo trying to trap him. Back to the stomach with that jab. That's an excellent idea. And this is when Mayweather's really fighting his fight. And he can go to the body and make you follow him around. Castillo manages to dig a left hand to the body. And now pops a right hand upstairs as Mayweather is backed against the rope. It's abundantly clear. Castillo has no chance in the center of the ring. He's got to back Floyd up against the rope. That's what he's got to do, and he's doing a good job of it. You just can't throw the punches hard when you have them against the rope. You're going to miss. you got to take the power off and get the accuracy in. In this round, Castillo gathering effect in forcing Mayweather against the ropes. This Monday, check out the next Real Sports with Bryant Gumbel among the stories, an investigative report on how easily illegal steroids enter the United States across Mexico's border and through use of the internet. Real Sports, nothing is out of bounds. Hey, very intelligent, nice and lively. Hey, throw the left hook to the body, okay? Underneath. Don't forget. If, if he gets to the corner, he's going to move around. So you, so you got to feint him and throw punch. Let's get some Vaseline on him.
Don't worry, don't worry. Your time won't go by. Don't worry about it. You're doing fine. Okay, seconds out. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Sam. I have the impression that this is much rougher going for Mayweather than he anticipated. Well, he's in with a solid fighter, and you're just not going to be able to hit Castell with just anything, and that's, that's, that's bothering him. Well, they were under the impression that this was an easy target. Uh, his trainer, his uncle, said, look, if you throw a beer bottle into the ring, it's going to hit Castillo somehow. There he's the not that open. Mayweather's doing the counter right hand, which is good. You make the guy stop and wonder before he throws his left jab. Round four of a scheduled 12. Harold, how do you have it through three? Look at Jim. Two rounds to one. 29-28. Pretty boy Floyd Mayweather. Jim, in rounds one and two, I thought Floyd easily outboxed him. Jose Luis Castillo didn't do enough. By the way, that knockdown in the second round, extremely questionable. I thought Floyd did throw a left hook, and this guy went down on the end of the hook. But what are you going to do? It's a judgment call by the referee, so it doesn't go as a 10-8 round. In the third round, Jose Luis Castillo did nail Floyd Mayweather when Floyd went up on the ropes. Two rounds to one, Mayweather. The lightweight average for punch output would be around 60 punches a round. These guys are throwing between 30 and 40 punches per round. So they are picking their spots very sparingly so far. Now the action begins to heat up just a little bit in round four. Mayweather six to get close. Get his right hand right above his chin. And his left hand close to his waist so he can do his thing. He's not been able to do that yet. That's what he's trying to do. Get a little close. Make his opponent stop throwing shots. Keep that head up. Watch pushing out. Those left jabs to the body early was doing working good for me, but now he's stopped. I'm not going to tell you again. When I say stop punching, stop punching, okay? Keep that head up. Mayweather's going softball again. You know, Castillo's trying to make a brawl out of it, which is what he is supposed to do. Mayweather shooting a right uppercut as Castillo stepped by. Yeah, that's when you, you've got a butt already. You don't want to turn softball too much. Cut by a butt. Chulich telling Castillo not to hold. He's already warned him about punching after the break. Good uppercut. And in terms of style, a good round for Jose Luis Castillo. As more and more, he lures Mayweather into something messier and more ragged than a boxing match. <laughs> you like boxing after dark? May 18, a classic boxing after dark matchup. Okay, we got to close the exits for him and throw the body punches in the bottom and the top. Okay, we're going to give some praise. We won that round. We won that round. <clears throat> okay, let's get lively here. Here is Castillo trying to make this as ugly as he possibly can to throw the dancer off. Out of his rhythm. And I think he's doing a pretty good job of that so far, Larry. Your thoughts? He has. We'll see if he makes it pay off by uh, inflicting enough damage in the next few rounds so that he can do more damage in the later rounds of the fight. He's not scoring enough himself. And that's the point when you get rough and get all entangled like that, you don't land, you don't get any points in. You gotta make certain that you've gotten points in, then you start. Them. I can't imagine he thinks he's gonna win a decision from Floyd Mayweather. I think he's looking for something else. Mayweather's getting sharper and sharper and closer with that right hand. Yeah. 
You only hope with a master boxer that he gets tired. Here's a ripping left out of that southpaw stance by Floyd. Now he turns back around to the conventional stance. Castillo reaching with a looping left hook. If you can't get them tired, you got a rough night ahead of them. The way to do that is keep a body punch on them at all times. Jab into the body, slap into the body. Almost impossible for Castillo to land two or three punches in a row. Mayweather so quick and elusive. Doesn't mean that Castillo shouldn't try to throw two or three or four punches in you a row. You just got to do it because if you can throw one shot, you can throw two if you're just not leaning, lunging forward. Get him against the ropes and go for it. Mayweather popping Castillo with a little uppercut to make space and get away. Castillo more and more just wading in, getting close at any cost, so that he can try to bully Floyd. Vernon Forrest said after his great victory over Shane Mosley that the way to beat speed is with a jab, and Castillo does not have a jab that is very effective. what Forrest did to Mosley when Vernon talks. We listen. That was quite a show. Our right body hand to the body by Castillo. by Castillo. You see, the body, he moves all he wants, but he, the body is going to stay right in front of him. Just throw for the body. That's what Castillo should be doing. Throw to the body. Like all of Mayweather's opponents, Castillo said, I'm going to pressure him. You have succeeded to the degree to which Castillo has succeeded so far. Doesn't necessarily mean he's winning the fight. Mayweather smiling at me, something wrong. And Mayweather giving dap to Castillo via the glove to try to let him know that he thinks it's he fun to, to have a fight hand. like Fuck this. That. Stay right hand. You beat him easy right hand. All right? You ain't got your left hand on. You beat him easy. You beat him easy right, you beat him easy right hand. Okay? Smart boxing. That's Don't. all you want. Listen. He ain't with a rise on before he ever land. Listen. Keep the jab working. Keep fighting smart. Keep busting him up. Okay, you're, you're trying to focus too much. Hit him on the chin. Hit him in the body. Okay? Tenemos que hacer las salidas y no dejarlo pensar. We got to close it. Vamos a meter con cintura, pero lo vamos a tirar a golpes. No, no, no. Break him down. You see it getting a little rough in there. But then you heard, you heard his uncle Roger tell him, stop switching to Southpaw. You're beating him with conventional style. First copy box number to really stick out so far. Power shots in round five. Castillo 15 out of 30. Mayweather 7 out of 13. And you see that Harold Letterman gave the last round to Castillo. Fight getting closer now as we reach the sixth out of 12. Here comes that USA chant again. Floyd must feel like he's back at the Olympics. That has a lot of effect on the crowd, on the, the opponents too, because Castillo was expecting a lot, a big turnout for himself. But there's a good crowd out there cheering for Mayweather. His corner told him to keep the left jab going, burst, burst him up. Keep, keep the left jab on him. He's doing a good job of it now. Incidentally, going back to our pre-fight feature, there's a hard straight right hand by Castillo against the ropes. There's those punches that hurt Mayweather's hand. Start throwing him on top. 
Good left took to the head by Mayweather. Right, right. I was just about to say the good news, George, is that we're into the sixth round and there's absolutely no sign of any hand difficulty for Mayweather so far. Right. Right. I'll punch him. He's, this is the round he started to throw more to the top of the head, which you got to be careful of. It's the top of the head and the elbows where the danger lies. That's true. And when it hurt, he said the first time it happened to him, he never experienced that kind of pain. Now, if it happens again, he got an advantage. He knows what it's all about. And it pass. Castillo banging to the body. Mayweather goes down. Jack Coolidge rules no knockdown. Watch out, Russell. Mayweather is complaining of low blows. Well, he's got a lot to complain about as Castillo continues to turn this into a barroom brawl. And that's what you got to do if you want to beat Mayweather. Keep this thing at a brawl. You're not going to win a boxing match with Mayweather. You got to push, you got to shell. Good counter left hand by Mayweather as Castillo stalked him into the corner. Castillo lands a straight left and backs Mayweather into the rope. Lloyd punching back, another good round as the fight continues to grow in intensity. Hey, stay away from the rope. Move, time, if you want to do anything, time up. Give him grease. Watch him grease on his face. Put the grease on his belly face. You, you won this round real big. Now you, you got confidence. Okay, now we got to grab him and finish him off. Now you got him? Yeah. He, he, don't, don't, don't be over anxious. You're going to get him now. He's yours. Here's the low blow that the left hand, you'll see that Mayweather complained about. The referee did not see the punch. Overall, Castillo landed 24 punches in the round, doubling Mayweather's CompuBox estimate. And among them, 19 out of 29 power shots. Big round for Jose Luis Castillo. Harold, how do you have the fight scored halfway <laughs> okay, through? Okay, Jim, I think the champion, Jose Luis Castillo, certainly caught up in rounds five and six. Without question, the first four rounds were dominated by Mayweather. I gave Castillo the third, but in rounds five and six, Jose Luis Castillo seemed to take over simply because Floyd Mayweather laid on the ropes and let Castillo, who's up two divisions, basically to run the way, just stand there and hammer Floyd. Floyd's got to stay off those ropes or Castillo's just going to hurt him. I have it four rounds to two for Mayweather. They're back in the center of the ring momentarily and now Castillo pounds Mayweather back into the corner with a hard right hand shot to the body. Floyd still throwing upstairs, lands a straight right hand, but Castillo's good chin is showing up. That's when those extra pounds start to work against you. When you, when you start being hit in the body by those extra hard nine pounds. Mayweather shouldn't allow himself to be hit in the body. So what you're saying is that Mayweather has gotten into the kind of fight where Castillo's nine-pound weight advantage could be a factor. It could be a factor because he's allowing him to hit him in the side and in the chest. It takes everything away from you. Your corner can't tell you to do anything because you don't have the stamina anymore. Well, Stevie Johnson said that since he became champion, he thought that Castillo was fighting better than he ever had before. He's a big strong, lightweight, and Mayweather has all he can handle. Vivid contrast here in round seven. Jose Luis Castillo throwing virtually every punch to the body. There's one upstairs, but this is, but he landed several body shots before that. Floyd Mayweather working exclusively upstairs. What must Floyd do, George, to be sure of keeping the fight in the center of the ring? He's got to keep his jab working constantly. The fight goes to the ropes, turn and run back to the middle of the ring. That's what he's got to do. He just can't slide back because this guy beat you. Right now, hold him and move to the ropes. He's pushing him off, which is no good. 
it's a classic territorial imperative fight when they're in the center of the ring. Floyd Mayweather has the big advantage. When they get to the ropes, Castillo is increasingly dominant. He knows exactly what to do. Evidently, he's practiced. That's when you're supposed to throw the fastball. Mayweather slides along the ropes. He should go right back to the middle of the ring. Little change up now as Castillo begins to go upstairs. Oh, oh, Now we have a hold on. Hunt, hunt, hunt. Another big round for the champion. This Floyd Mayweather has nothing to smile about. You had that round all the way. Don't let the mother get no sticky ass shit in there. Time up. All right? How you feel? Yeah. All right, then. Show me something then. No way. June 1, it's the Lewis Tyson preview show. Followed by live boxing. When, when he stays there, he, he's waiting for you. So hit him in the body. Castillo is now getting close enough to Mayweather to land the kind of punches that we have seldom seen him hit with. But our punches through round seven by CompuBox estimate, Jose Luis Castillo landing 75 power shots to only 30 for Mayweather. Castillo throwing more than twice as many. Three body punches in a row by Castillo. Increasingly, it appears if Floyd's going to win the fight, he'll have to do it with his jab. Mayweather starting to try to exchange power in the middle of the ring. That's where he's got some effect on You things. know, it's interesting, George, that Mayweather isn't using his jab as much as you would think he would. Why do you think that is? Just doesn't have the confidence. Even when he had a lot of strength in the earlier rounds, he was sparingly using it. Just doesn't have the confidence in the left jab. And you gotta have confidence. Can't do it if you don't believe in it. Castillo is allowing uh, Mayweather to stay in the middle of the ring. That's not good for him. Now he's starting to pepper Castillo with his jab. He goes along the, the ropes. He should come right back to the middle of Mayweather. Fighting with his eyes now. Mayweather's watching his opponent. Watches his hands, his eyes. Larry Merchant mentioned earlier that Jose Luis Castillo spent five years as a sparring partner for the great Julio Cesar Chavez. Yesterday, I asked Castillo if he remembered as a teenager watching Chavez's fight with Meldrick Taylor, the classic fight in which Taylor dominated for nine rounds, and Chavez ultimately caught him with power shots to the body, knocked him out with two seconds to go. Castillo smiled and said, that's exactly the blueprint. I'm just not going to wait until the last two seconds. Increasingly, this fight begins to mimic Taylor Chavez as Castillo's body shots slow Mayweather down. Another hard right hand to the body by Castillo. Mayweather working the jab, trying to reestablish tactical command. Remember that Floyd Mayweather's 130-pound world championship is not at stake here. So if he were to lose in this bid for the lightweight title, he remains the champion at his perhaps more natural weight class. He's managed to make the stairs slow up a little bit. what you want a referee to do. I feel this referee has been altogether too involved in the fight, too officious. And forget about that, that's nothing. As soon as the bell rings, attack him. 
Julio. ¿Te tomaste el agua? Sí. You drank the water. Okay. Let's do the work that we're doing. You're doing well. Don't worry about the point. Eh, hey, you know he's not doing. We got to work fast and we got to work hard. Don't worry about it. So you know you listen, you here now. I'm here now. All right, let's go here now. Hey, when your rib was hurting, you still I just thought that was a reflex tap, uncalled for penalty. But Draculich had warned Castillo earlier about breaking when he says break. That's what prompted the deduction. Mayweather only threw four power punches by CompuBox numbers in the eighth round. Question, is his right hand hurting him? Mayweather loved the old rope-a-dope, if you know what I mean. Allow a guy to keep hitting you and hitting you until you get your strength and he loses his. There's the right hand by Mayweather. Perfect counter shot as Castillo came in. Now why was the referee in there breaking them up? They had broken themselves up and they were ready to keep fighting. Watch it. Calm it down now. Calm it down. Let's box. Let's go. What do you mean calm it down? It's a fight. <laughs> Referee's telling two fighters who want to fight to calm it down. He should calm down. Nobody paid to see this referee. I'm with you, Larry. You better be a referee and get those guys managed well, because I can see something brewing here, the referee also. Well, whatever is brewing, George, I want to see it brew over. You end up with a disqualification. Hard body shot by Castillo right on the belt line of Mayweather. Point deduction isn't going to stop Castillo from doing the only thing he can do to win the fight which is to drive Floyd back into the ropes and keep trying the pound. Good job. Right. Mayweather's having a rough time dealing with this strong Castillo. Yeah, and I think he underestimated him. I think they were under the impression this was a guy who would move straight into him and be easy to pop shoot. That's the trouble. He moves his head as he comes in. After using his right hand only sparingly in the eighth, Floyd Mayweather threw two big right hands early in this round and has not unleashed it since. And keep in mind that the aggressor throughout primarily has been Castillo. If it's a close fight, that could mean the difference. Mayweather keeps moving along the ropes rather than going to the middle of the ring. as you talk about Castillo being the aggressor, Larry, I can just hear the viewers in the audience thinking, well, wait a minute. Mayweather is promoted by the local promoter and lives in Las Vegas. If there's a close fight, maybe that could make the difference. I'm enjoying this fight too much to have to deal with that right now, Jim. But there's only one Las Vegas judge among the three. One from England, one from Thailand. The good thing about Mayweather, he's been, a been able to get those jabs to the body in the earlier rounds. So Castillo's throwing a lot of power shots. This could wear him down as far as power. Those few magic punches in the earlier rounds can really help you if the fight continues rough like this. Take a score, take a point, take a point. We should have taken a point from him. He's thinking of it, but he didn't do it. I guess the round was over. You know every now and then you move. You move, right? Let's get some water on his head. He's tired. He's tired. You need to work his body. Yeah, you, you, you let him get in there because you're fighting the close. You last round, you fought real perfectly. You gotta faint him and go in in combinations. Hey, keep fighting some more. Keep using your legs. Throw it. Throw it. If you got to sit out every now and then, you got to sit Seconds out. out. Let's go. All right. Second down. Right hand early in the round. Not the sort of punch that Mayweather generally accepts. That was pretty smart, smart by Mayweather. He came out and meant 
Castillo before he could jump on him. That's smart. Three rounds of drama upcoming in Floyd Mayweather so far unbeaten and spectacular career. Harold Letterman, how do you have it scored through nine? You know, Jim, that point that Vic Dracula took away for hitting, you know, for hitting on a break. I, I tell you yesterday, I said, that could be the difference in this fight. It really could. In any case, four, four, one even. I got it 85 to 85. I got it all even. You know, for four rounds, five, six, seven, and eight, I was watching Floyd Mayweather fight a desperation fight. It was a ring generalship. He was running away, you know, taking shots at Castillo, but Castillo was hammering him. Just the aggressor, as Larry called it, and Castillo was just whacking him with good shots. Pick him up by the ropes and hit him. But in the tenth round, for some crazy reason, Jose Luis Castillo seemed to slow down, just like he is here, and Floyd out punched him. Mayweather's starting to open up with his right hand now. One, two, one, two. Yeah, back to throwing the right hand after throwing it so sparingly in the eighth and ninth rounds. Let me tell you, I don't care how tough you are, you can't keep getting hit with good straight hands by Mayweather like that, right hands like that. Mayweather jabbing to the body again, an effective tactic earlier in the fight. Misses with the left uppercut, goes to the body, Mayweather flicking in, Castillo with the harder shots against the ropes. Uh, he's walking right into Mayweather's hook. Mayweather's got an excellent left hook. You just can't walk into it, you gotta bob and weave before you go there. Draculich allows Castillo to pound Mayweather in the back. That's, now that is strange. That, that was unbelievable. Referee's gotten confused there. Stop! Stay off the head. Stay off the head. Stay off the head. Keep the head up. Let's go. Stop! I'm going to tell you last time for pushing out. Last time. Warning Mayweather for pushing on. And sorry about pushing off. Mayweather takes a series of big shots against the ropes. Castillo just missing with an uppercut shot. Castillo's walking right into Mayweather's hook. Neutral His right hand. Neutral corner. Neutral corner. Neutral corner. One point. One point. One point. One point. Watch that elbow. Let's go. Five. So there goes the point deduction advantage as now Draculic evens it up by taking one from Mayweather. That could be a 10-8 round for the champion. Which would put him ahead on Harold Letterman's card. How you feel? Okay, listen. You way faster than now. All right? We got to sit down, exchange, move on. Sit down, exchange. Hey, put all that water on this goddamn drunk. God damn it, all right. Just a few nice punches is what you gotta do. We know what he's gonna do. Now we're gonna see a little bit of uh, back action. Uh, I'm not sure what the right thing to do there is. Now here's the point deduction for that elbow right there. He has repeatedly warned Mayweather about that. Roger Mayweather told his nephew that he now has to stand and punch and move out against Castillo, which indicates that Roger thinks this is a very close fight and that, Roger, and that Floyd Mayweather Jr. has to land some Meaningful punches in the next two rounds. Tremendous sense of urgency on Mayweather's face. Castillo got away with a couple of shots below the belt. Power punches in round 10 by copy box numbers. Castillo landed 25 to only eight for Floyd Jr. Floyd Mayweather expected this to be a royal coronation. Step up into the lightweight class, add another championship. Jose Luis Castillo didn't see it that way. His corner has told Mayweather to sit down on these punches. So you got to dig in and throw a hard shot every now and then. I think that Castillo is ready if he can get in a straight right hand now. He's, 
Castillo is much more effective at close quarters, landing many body blows at close quarters, where Mayweather is merely content to block shots. And Floyd hasn't used his feet effectively with any consistency over the course of the last six rounds. Castillo now has dictated the terms of the fight. Mayweather is fighting Castillo's fight because he has to. Well, Mayweather like to get in there and mix it up like that at some point of the fight. He like to stand there and just let the guy shoot no, I, th I think that is, for a shot. He loves that. That's to his credit. He loves it, Mayweather does. Yeah, that's to his credit. He knows what he has to do and he's trying to do it right here. Brilliant flurry by Mayweather. Oh, so this is not instigated by uh, Castillo. This is instigated by Mayweather. Absolutely, and there's a brilliant left-right combination there. And another combination. And Floyd Mayweather suddenly giving as good as he's getting. The only yeah. thing is, is those extra nine pounds that you bump, bumping up against, up, up against, that can wreck you. Yes. And as Castillo leans on him and leans on him, you wonder if Floyd's legs will hold up. If you see Castillo take a backward step, then you know that Floyd Mayweather's won a battle of such. Of such. Body shots by Castillo. Tough round to score. Flurries by both fighters. Close Mayweather is not the back. Mayweather is not backing up at all. This gives you an idea of the versatility of Mayweather, who can box and move, and now he is standing and delivering and taking. Good body punching by Castillo. May be seen right, let me have that towel. Rounds in his career. This last round coming up. Ya sé. Está cabeza con cabeza tiene que ganar la tirada. Listen, you gotta close this out, okay? Close it out. Colton, final round. Make it a good one. Touch up middle of the ring. All right, Floyd. I know your hand hurting. No, no, fuck you, listen. No te preocupes. Vámonos. You're trying to knock you out, so you, as a champion, go out there. This is the last round. Okay, let's do it for you, kid. This is what I'm asking you. Intelligence. El campeonato es tuyo. He ain't got more skill than you. We've seen upsets of Hamed, of Lewis, of Trinidad, of Mosley in the last year. Is this yet another one? Copy okay. box numbers in round 11. Castillo 35 out of 68. Mayweather 20 out of 50. Hard round to score. Mayweather's punching very effective down the stretch of the round. Harold Letterman, how do you have it coming to 12? Okay, Jim. 105, 102, 6 4, 1 even. Jose Luis Castillo. I think that Floyd Mayweather is just fighting this guy's fight. Jose Luis Castillo, the bigger, harder puncher. I think he's getting the best of Floyd Mayweather. Certainly that, that round 10, just as he called it, was a 10 8 round when Vic, Vic Dracula took the point away from Mayweather for using his elbow. Jose Luis Castillo, 6 4, 1 even. Well, the point makes itself, at least on Harold's scorecard, Mayweather would need a knockout to win. I have it a little closer by one round, one point, but I have Castillo winning, and he is the champion. A draw, if, a, if there were a draw, he would keep his title. It already happened to Castillo once, but he got a draw against Stevie Johnston. Two more low blows for Castillo, and both of them effective, and he gets away with it. Mayweather's leaping in with the strong left hook. Should have done that a little earlier. But this guy can take a punch, Castillo. Yeah, Castillo's chin is Castillo the in the fight. Takes a good shot. He's been tested here this fight. He's been able to absorb a lot of left hooks. And land a few. And he's keeping the fight coming. He's not bagging up. Castillo showing stamina and strength. He's a champion fighting like the challenger.
Jose Luis Castillo took a major payday. The assumption was he was selling his title. He is here to show that he is here to Rick, keep Rick. his title. He's earned it tonight. He's taken everything Mayweather had and gave him something. They called him Pretty Boy Floyd. And he rapidly became the most celebrated member of the 1996 American Olympic team after entering the pro ranks. First one to win a championship. 27-0 coming into today. Regarded himself as one of the very top pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. Did he bite off more than he could do? Did he underestimate the difficulty of moving up in weight against a top veteran champion who knew how to come in and make Floyd Mayweather fight his fight? Who will the judges choose in this rousing battle in Las Vegas? The way it's supposed to be. I thought Castillo retained his title. It looked to me like he did enough in the 10th, 11th, and 12th rounds. If the fight was hanging in the balance, Castillo remained the aggressor down the stretch. Harold Lovell, the greatest judge of all. <laughs> and you! And you! We are just pawns. <laughs> Two key junctures late in the fight. Moments provided by referee Vic Draculich in round eight. It appeared a tremendous advantage for Floyd Mayweather and Jose Luis Castillo after having been warned for hitting on the break several times. Hit Mayweather with that little left on the break and lost a point. But then in round 10, after Floyd Mayweather had been warned for pushing off with his elbow, Jacqueline caught him with the elbow right under Castillo's neck and took a point away from Floyd. That may have stopped the Mayweather rally and given the advantage back to Castillo. Castillo gave him all the fight he wanted tonight. Harold, what's your final score? Chip, I agree with you 100%. In the championship rounds, 10, 11, and 12, Jose Luis Castillo just took control of the fight. 115, 111, 7, 4, 1 even, Jose Luis Castillo. Once again, the judges are Anna Kongtong Cam from Thailand, John Keane from England, Jerry Roth of Las Vegas, who is regarded as a judge who favors the aggressor. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official results. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, we go to the Budweiser scorecards. John Kane and Jerry Roth both have it 115 to 111. Anik Hong Tong Kam scores it 116 to 111 for the winner by unanimous decision and new lightweight champion of the world, the undefeated pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather. Not the fight we saw. Definitely not the fight that this announced team was watching at ringside. Not the first time it's happened. Final CompuBox numbers. And these numbers will dispute the outcome of the fight. Castillo by CompuBox numbers landing <coughs> 46 more punches. Throwing 58 more punches landing at a higher connect percentage rate. Power punches, more big advantages coming for Castillo. Landing 107 more power punches. Throwing 226, or check it, yes, 226 more power punches and landing at a higher connect percentage rate. The only category in which Mayweather would have had a statistical CompuBox advantage would have been in the jab category, but that was not the nature of the fight that was fought here. And right now, Larry Merchant stands by with Las Vegas resident and the winner here, Floyd Mayweather Jr.
Thank you, Jim. Congratulations, Floyd. You went out in the last two rounds with instructions from your trainer, your uncle Roger, which he said you had to stand and fight him. Were you under the impression that the fight was very close at that time and that you had to pull it out? Well, first of all, you know, before I even, you know, answer that question, I want to say, you know, you know, Grant Boxing, you know, he got the best gloves in the business, the best outfits in the business. We don't do commercials. Well, you know, I'm, I'm going to give him some props. Of course I know you don't, but this is my time to shine. And so let me, you know, let me, be, let me have my, you know, my, my piece and speak my piece. Um, you know, I want to thank God for this victory. I mean, it, it was tough, you know. The, the last, you know, my last training day, I hurt, I hurt my um, I think my rotator cup in my left shoulder, so I wasn't able to use my jab like I wanted to. My, my left wasn't as strong as I wanted it to be. But I ain't wanna have no excuses like you know, like other champions when they when they get hurt, they just they don't even show up to the fight. I get hurt, I I, I keep fighting. I want to bring the fans, you know, big. All right, fights. now but but answer the question. Were you under the impression, given the instructions from your corner, that you really had to stand and fight them in the last two rounds, that it was very, very close? Actually, my uncle said I was wearing them down. So he told me to, you know, he told me that in all my big fights. You know, if you wear a guy down like around the 10th and 11th and 12th, you know, stand there, you know, and break them down. So I wasn't even worried at all. I was out boxing them easy. Was he much tougher than you anticipated? You, after all, said this was an easy fight en route to bigger fights. Well, you gotta realize, I beat this guy with a messed up arm. My arm is messed up. But I, I don't have no excuse. I don't ever back down to turn out fights. That's but it, So it was a harder fight than you anticipated with what you came into the with ring one, with? with? With one arm, yes. One arm, yes. If you want to rematch, we can do it again. So are you suggesting that you think, given the fact that a lot of people here believe that he won the fight, that you think you should give him a rematch? This is boxing. You have ups, you have downs. He was a good fighter. It was a good fight for both, other, both of us. It was a good learning experience for me. And, and I'm looking forward to moving on. Moving All right, on you moved up in weight and you fought a very strong lightweight. Yes. Did you find out that it was a little different than you had anticipated? No, not at all. I fought the best lightweight because that's what I want. I want exciting fights. So I moved up to fight the best lightweight they got out there. And, um, you know, like I said before, I mean, I took my time and went out there and done what I had to do. Thank you very much, Floyd. Congratulations Thank you. again. Thank you. And now let me talk to Jose Luis Castillo. You seem shocked by the, the decision. Did you think you had won the fight easily? ¿Te sorprendió la decisión? Pensé que tú que ganaste la pelea fácil. Sí, no, no fácil, un poco complicado, no, pero sí, sí del, del cuarto round adelante hice el trabajo, no, como para para obtener la, la victoria, no, no es que desgraciadamente los jueces vieron otra cosa. Yeah. It wasn't easy because it was a very complicated fight, but I thought I won the fight. Unfortunately, the judges didn't agree with me. Do you think that the judges sided with him because he's the favorite, because he comes from Las Vegas, because this is where he works out of? ¿Tú crees que los jueces la vieron para él porque él es el favorito, él el trabaja aquí en Las Vegas y todo lo tiene aquí? Yo pienso que sí, ¿no? Eh, los jueces se supone que deben ser imparciales, pero en esta ocasión no lo fueron. Y bueno, ya estamos eh, en pláticas, ahorita hablamos con, con el señor eh, Bo Arun para hacer una revancha directa, ¿no? Ojalá y sí se, se concrete. Sí, yes, I think they favor him because of that. The judges should be impartial, but this time they didn't call the right decision. But I already have a guarantee that I'm going to have a, a rematch. Where did you get that guarantee from? Esa, esa garantía que te dieron no era revancha. ¿De dónde? ¿Quién te la dio? Bueno, le dio el señor Aru, ¿no? No, no dijo que probablemente se hiciera la revancha, pero no, no, no puso fecha. Hay que sentarnos a platicar. Uh, I got it from Bob Arum himself. He didn't uh, give me a definite, but he said most likely we'll have a rematch in the near future. Did you feel that your strength overcame his quickness in this fight and that by being the aggressor you were dictating the fight sentiste tú que tu fortaleza lo fuerte que tú eres contrarrestaba la, la rapidez de él y eso hacía tu pelea a tu favor sí sí porque él sentía mis golpes y, y corría un poquito más fuerte no cuando sentía el golpeo mío y bueno eso eso también por eso se quiso intercambiar golpes vio que era mucho más fuerte en los últimos rounds y mejor optó por, por correr yeah, ¿no? he felt my punches and this is why he, he uh, he's a lot of times he stood there and tried to trade with me but I was punching too hard did he ever hurt you at all do you feel you hurt him en alguna vez te, te ocasionó algún esto te, te hirió te sentiste algo y sientes tú que lo, lo heriste a él eh, yo sí lo herí varias veces no él sí me, me me pegó un gancho que me sofocó poquito, ¿no? Que no fue lo único que sentí, fue como en el décimo round. Pero de ahí en fuera, no, no sentí nada. Yeah, at one time with the left, with the left hook he hit me and I felt a little bit, but I hurt him a lot more. Thank you for a wonderful fight, congratulations. Gracias por una buena pelea. Gracias y ojalá y ahí vio me pronto la oportunidad 
de volver a pelear con, con, con ustedes, estoy agradecido y arriba en Palme. So thank you and I wish uh, I hope HBO will give me the opportunity to fight a rematch. Thank you and back to you, Jim. All right, back at ringside with George Foreman and George uh, Floyd Mayweather is a remarkably gifted fighter. Surely there are some out there who are saying right now more gifted than ever. He says it was a learning experience, but do you learn just as much when they call it a win as when they call it a loss? What I do know that for the first time, Floyd Mayweather can sell pay-per-view. If this match is made a rematch, this would have to go pay-per-view. It was an excellent fight. It's hard to give one guy the winner, but this should be a rematch. What you're and saying this should is be pay-per-view. This is the kind of controversy that sells big this the second time around. This is what we around. need. This is what Mayweather really needed in his career. I think the top rank better sign this guy for a rematch and let us go on the tour of a pay-per-view. This will sell. I guarantee it. All right. George Foreman says not only give us the rematch, give it to us pay-per-view because the controversy sells. Larry, your thoughts? Well, I don't think there's much controversy. I think most people <laughs> think that Castillo won. But yeah, the, but that's but the controversy. The other guy got the decision. But the house fighter got the decision. Uh, Bob Arum, the promoter, uh, went and told Castillo that uh, he will get a, a rematch because I believe, Arum believes, that Castillo won the fight. Maybe this will make... Aram's seen a fight or two. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, Mayweather wants to be a, uh, a household name. L let him do a rematch and uh, have more fights like this, and he'll be that. One, one thing's for sure. <laughs> Among his fans, no doubt sorely disappointed, Jose Luis Castillo is more a household name than ever, despite a loss on his record. Well, we'll have a final word on what happened in this ring doubleheader in just a moment. Now let's look ahead to some upcoming programs. On the next Real Sports. Just recently, the basketball coach of the former national champion Arkansas Razorbacks, Nolan Richardson, departed amid a cloud of controversy. They had one motive, to get rid of me, period. In a Real Sports exclusive, Brian Gumbel sits down with Coach Richardson to get the inside story on his tumultuous career and volatile exit from the game he loves. The thing that I hate more than anything is to treat me with slave mentality. Plus, illegal steroids are funneling into our country at an alarming rate. Real Sports is hot on the trail across the border, through the internet, and into your homes. Real Sports with Bryant Gumbel. Premieres Monday at 10 on HBO. Nothing is out of bounds. Four warriors at the crossroads, deep in the heart and soul of boxing after dark. Now electrifying four-time world champion Johnny Tapia is in his drive for number five against current champ Manuel Medina. Plus dynamic heavyweight on the rise, Jameel McCline hopes to throw veteran banger Shannon Briggs off course. Four warriors. Only two will make it through the crossroads. Fasten your seatbelts. It all happens live Saturday, April 27th on HBO Boxing After Dark. May 11, World Championship Boxing is back with Felix Trinidad fighting for the first time since losing to Bernard Hopkins in September. Trinidad will be in Puerto Rico taking on Frenchman Hassin Sharifi. Also, Randall Bailey will face the Abele Sertado. Thursday, join us for the next On the Record with Bob Costas. This season, Bob has talked with an array of sports superstars and top names from the entertainment industry. This week, Gary Sheffield and John Stewart. Big names, bold questions, Bob's back. Earlier this evening, Stevie Johnston got the 34th win of his colorful lightweight career as he outboxed Alejandro Gonzalez en route to a majority decision that should have been a unanimous decision. Stevie, with a brilliant display of footwork and ring generalship, controlled the fight all the way against a harder puncher. And then Floyd Mayweather Jr. seemed to be in hot water down the stretch against a Jose Luis Castillo, who was able for most of the fight to roll Mayweather back against the ropes and bully him to the body, occasionally landing shots upstairs. But Mayweather got a surprising unanimous decision and adds the lightweight championship to the ones he already held at 130. Next on HBO, stay tuned for Six Feet Under on the East Coast and the premiere of Cats and Dogs on the West Coast. And now for our entire HBO crew, I'm Jim Lampley saying so long from Las Vegas. The executive producer of HBO Sports is Rick Bernstein. Tonight's edition of World Championship Boxing was produced by Dave Harmon and directed by Mark Beaton. Feature producers Gil Knight and Jay Blake Lewis. Associate producers Thomas Odelfelt and Israel De Herrera. Assistant to the producer George Jakovic. Production manager Mark Hayden. Technical supervisor Bob Hunter. And the technical director was Colby Bourgeois.
This has been a presentation of HBO Sports, the network of champions.